for our first series of On the Road, we're here today at Annabella's Closet. Owner and operator named Donna has a soft-coated Wheaton Terrier named Annabelle. And Annabelle, unfortunately, is afraid of people. So bringing her to her boutique just hasn't been working out real well because Annabella is practically hiding in the closet. Um, we don't want that. So we're here today to say hi to Donna, see how things are going, and, and really get an idea for what we need to do to help her. All right, so here we go. Hi, Christy. Hi, how, how are, are you? you? I'm so glad I made it. I'm oh, excited to work too. with you today. I'm excited, and just to work on Annabelle's confidence. She really see, needs it. I can see that. She's not even coming out to see me. Yeah. No. Heck no. All okay. right, you ready to get started? Yeah. Okay, I'm excited. Cool. Me too. Is this her safe zone? Is she, this where she it chooses is her to safe go? safe zone if I have her up front, yes. Or she will, this, she feels comfortable in the chair. Okay. If she was on the chair and no one was here and a customer came in, would she jump off the chair and run to her safe zone? Probably. We can't make this be a, a good place to be if we don't pair it with a positive. Okay. And this is like blow your mind extra special treats, not just regular, you know, biscuits. The only time that she's going to get cheese, leftover meatloaf, whatever it takes, teeny tiny pieces, okay, is when she comes to work with you. I think what we should do is, we obviously, we see that she's upset and she's nervous here. So we'll say, oh, somebody's here. Let's go see who's here. And we train her to go to the new safe spot on her cozy chair. Okay. All right, because the thing that worries me about continuing to allow her to go here is that um, this is just going to in increase the uh, chances of her becoming aggressive because there's no getaway here, and that's what makes me a little bit uncomfortable okay. is that she's enclosed. You know, better our chances that she might bite. What I would suggest that you do is as the people come in for our practices, you're going to hand them the treat to give to her. So let's see how close she's we can to get. get. She keeps going to her safe place. So let's see how far, what's, where's her, what's the, you know, closest that we can get her away from that zone. Will she even take, you know, treats? Yummy. Good girl. So go ahead and praise her. Good girl. So let's see if we can get her even further away yeah. from her safe zone. Hi, Annabelle. Look what I got for you. Good, Good stuff. Girl. Yummy stuff. Good job. Yeah, you want more? We're going to get closer to the door here. Hi, you can do it. So keep come talking on, her through it. A lot of verbal on. praise. Good girl. Good girl. Good. All right, so she did pretty darn good there. We're going to do one more exercise when we get just a little bit closer to the door. Because to her right now, she has a lot of negative associations with this door, wouldn't you say? Yes. So when somebody comes in the door, what does she do? She just kind of either goes behind the desk okay. or she'll try to go to the back. All right, so we need to change how she feels about this door mm -hmm. altogether. I'm going to now open this door. You're going to come from the back of the shop and walk her all the way up to me. Let's see how far we can get. Just from simply doing that exercise only once, I think she'll do better than you think. Okay. Okay. So, so go ahead and bring her back. back to her safe zone. Okay. okay. Come in. I'm praising her, praising on, her. We're having a good time. On, good this is girl. fun stuff. Good girl. Good. Okay, so she's also gonna start learning what this sound is, the bells on right. the door. Okay, so you ready? Yeah. All right, and then I would pick a word that you're going to use. <gasps> who's here? Something like that. Hi, right, let's go so see who's here. Time. Like, who's here? Who's here? Girl, hi, Annabelle. Good girl. Yeah, that was really good. Are you surprised? Good girl, yeah. That was really good. So because she's doing this good, we could probably even go ahead and add the sit command. So we're going to do this exercise again. I'm going to come in the door. We're going to make the noise. You're going to take her to the back. This time when you bring her up to me, you're going to tell her to sit. Let's go see who's here. Let's go see who's here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, good that girl. Sit. Good girl. Oh, hi, Annabelle. Good girl. Good girl. Hi, what a pretty dog. After the person comes in, it's important that we tell her what we want her to do next. But building that positive association with the presence of the person coming in, that's first. Right. All right, so we're already seeing a nice, you know, transition there. So let's kind of move to what we're supposed to do after the person comes in. I think the next move should be let's train her to go to the chair. Okay. Okay? All right, so let's walk her through that, but stay right here. So she associates the door. Okay. These are, these are little trial runs. See how she knows now? She turned towards me because she heard the door. Yeah. Good girl. Who was you? Good sit. You did that all by yourself. You're a smart cookie. 
Yes, you are. We all did it three times. <laughs> You're a smart cookie. Yes, you are. You're a good girl. Yeah, you having fun? This is fun stuff. All right, so she would hear the noise. She would hear the bell. The person would come in and we'd say, okay, let's go. Go to your spot. And so go ahead and tell her, okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Up, there you go. Good girl. And then Vader, give her treats. Okay. Good girl. Good girl. Good. Now, does she know a down command? Down. Sometimes. Try taking Annabelle. food, put it right in her nose, and then just move the food straight down to her toes. And hold. A little bit closer to the toes. And hold. There you there go. go. Now she gets it. She seemed to do really well with the chair, so I'd rather her be on the chair than behind the counter okay. shaking, because she seems like she's already chosen that as her kind of Yeah, I think she spot. feels comfortable. Here, yeah, I like so. her here. She looks happier, content, comfy. Later, we can eventually have her where she doesn't even have to get off, up off the chair. But right now, I would imagine that if she was on the chair and somebody walked in, she'd run away, wouldn't she? Does she run and hide? She'd run behind the okay. behind the counter. So yep. we have to eliminate that first. And the only way that we can eliminate that is by, again, bringing her to the door and showing her, hey, somebody's here. Good stuff happens when people come in here. Okay. All right? So that we can change that. <gasps> Someone's here. i got to run and hide. Okay. So once we change that, it won't be long before she's laying in the chair and goes, oh, somebody's here. Boring. I could care less. <laughs> yeah. You know, but we have to change that learned behavior first. Let's go see who's here. Come on. Let's go see Let's see who's here. Hi, what a cute place. Hi, Christy. Hi. Oh, Hi, look Christy. at the dog. Sit Hi. down. Sit down, Annabelle. Hi, pretty girl. Hi. Wow, you got cool stuff. So now, oh, as I would you. be walking in and I'd be doing my thing, go ahead and now okay. do Come your on, thing. Come on, Annabelle. Because the person would be over. You know, then they'd say, okay, right. now they're going to get distracted by all the prettiness. Around okay. Like get up on your seat. Annabelle, over here. Up. Okay. Okay, lady. Good. And then, yep, the, uh, food at the toes. Come on. Hey. Put the food in her, in her nose and down to the toes. Your food, basically, when you're doing the down, the food is in the nose and straight down to the toes and then out. So think of your food like an L shape. And then this motion, oh, okay. when you take the food down to like the toes that? like this and out, that becomes an L, and then this becomes eventually your hand signal. Uh -huh. So that's how you create down. Like that. Ah, and, like that? Yep. And eventually you won't, of course, need the food anymore or the, the verbal command. Mm -hmm. She'll just respond right away to your hand signal. Down. And Down. then straight out a little there bit. We yeah, go. There we go. There we go. One of your exercises, I would encourage you to practice just the down position in the chair on okay. command. Yeah, good, good down. Good girl. Good. And then what you're going to do, and when we come back next week, we're going to expand on this quite a bit. But I would say for your homework would be those three steps. Okay. And then also for homework, I would work on having her lay down and stay. I, I think that she's about done. She's starting to kind of pant, and, and I'd like to end this positive. Um, she's done a great, great job, and I think we're seeing a big, big change in, in how she was when we first got I here. I think so, too. Huh. Yeah, and I think you even like me a little bit. Yeah, I like you. Yeah, you're a good girl. You did good. I'm proud of you. You yeah. did good. Are you proud of her? I'm very proud of good. her. Good. I think she did great. Well, Annabelle did great. That was fun. And I got a cute top out of the deal. Can't wait to see who we're going to see on the road next.